Now we've got two different type of kangaroo in here. We've got the dark grey ones, and you might have noticed one or two around that's got a bit of a sort of a redness through them or brown through their pelt, like the one just in front of the trailer here. <coughs> so they're the red kangaroos. The dark grey ones, the majority of them, they're the eastern greys. Now you get the name eastern because they inhabit the eastern side of Australia. Yeah. Queensland, New South Wales, Victoria and South Australia. Last count they say there's about over 10 million of those in a good year. Mm. A good year is when they get plenty of rainfall and there's plenty of feed around. Mm. In the dry years they drop back a bit. <coughs> now, kangaroos generally eat during the night and sleep during the day. But you notice they're out eating at the moment because when our grass dries off we've got to supplement their feed. So we put out this fresh loose in the morning, they have a feed, then they have a lay down and have a sleep. Most of the kangaroos' life, uh, daytime life is spent sleeping, as I say. But when it cools down in the evening, they come out and eat throughout the night. Now the other kangaroo, like these ones here, the red kangaroo, <coughs> it's really a brown streak through them, but they call it in animal terms red. They're found mainly in Central Australia, anywhere north of Mildura up to Alice Springs, and their colour generally blends into the colour of the soil up there, the red soil. The white kangaroo you ask about there, that uh, <coughs> looks like a bit like an albino, but it's not. It hasn't got pink eyes. Um, it's just a very light coloured red kangaroo. The red kangaroos go from that deep fox colour to very light white wishy grey. In the outback, of course, to be very vulnerable to predators because they stand out so much, yeah. particularly on an overcast day. But we've got a big strong fence around here, so we're quite safe mm -hmm. in here. Do we know why he's got one eye? Did you just <coughs> yes, a lot of animals uh, get a grass seed in their eye. Most oh, times it'll come out no. or a vet can treat it. Now and again, and get one that gets infected and he can't save it. So you have to take the eye out. But it hasn't affected her in any way. She gets around like all the other kangaroos. Yeah, no problems at all. <coughs> yeah. Now, we've only got about one tiny ca uh, joey kangaroo at the moment. Uh, you've got to keep your eye out. You might see its head sticking out of the mother's pouch. Other than that, we've got a few that are about 30 or 40 centimetres in height, like the little ones at the back here. <coughs> As you can see, the emus are inquisitive. They come around and have a look see what you're doing. <coughs> OK, well, I'm going to drive around.
we've got a dozen emus in here. Emus are a very hardy bird. They're a very inquisitive bird as well. I'll come around and have a look, see what you're doing. If you're eating a sandwich or an apple, I'd like to share it with you. But, uh, they uh, can survive in the outback in harsh conditions, travel a long distance in a day from A to B with little food and water if they have to. Put up with temperatures up in the high 40, 50 Celsius, and also the other end of the scale in the snow country. <laughs> now, they normally just eat grass, seed pods, roots of plants. We feed about a mixture of grain every day, so they don't have to hunt for too much food. You'll notice on the foot of an emu, it's got three big toes. The middle toe, the longest of the nail. Two main reasons for that. One is there's no visible grass to eat. They can scratch up the ground and find seeds. The second is protection against predators like wild dogs. They say that middle toe can open up a dog if the dog attacks them. The female lays between six and eight eggs once a year. Once she lays them, it's a male bird and sit on the eggs about eight weeks till they hatch. Once the chicks get to about eight weeks of age, they can place the grass themselves. Now their legs are very strong, they can't fly, but they can run up to about 60 kilometres an hour in short distances. Yeah, I think it's so